Here's hoping that today's news story sparks a different kind of remake. Mean Squirrels, they wear pink every day. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Stemulus. I'm Steph Evs, and here's what happened this week in STEM. Whether it's catching fireflies or waking your entire family up at five o'clock in the morning for an ISS flyover, backyard science is the best science. Biologist John Martin can attest to that. Last spring, he was hanging out in his own backyard, searching for lichens, fungi, plants, or frogs that fluoresce or absorb one wavelength of light and emit it as another, when he heard the chirp of a southern flying squirrel that was camped out on a nearby bird feeder. Now, under most circumstances, this would be relatively unremarkable. This particular species is common in the area. It's small and brown and is nocturnal or active at night. But rather than sporting its signature brown, this squirrel fluoresced hot pink when the beam of Dr. Martin's ultraviolet flashlight caught it. The ultraviolet flashlight helps to search for the fluorescing frogs, plants, lichens, and fungi, but the last thing Dr. Martin expected to catch fluorescing was the squirrel. When he first told his colleagues at Northland College, they were skeptical. However, as all good scientists do when they find something weird, they investigated. Researchers examined more than 130 flying squirrel specimens from the collections of the Science Museum of Minnesota and the Field Museum in Chicago. The team photographed the squirrels under visible and ultraviolet light, compared the images to non-gliding squirrels, and measured the intensity of the fluorescence. What they found was that while none of the non-flying squirrels glowed, all but one of the flying squirrel specimens did. The fluorescence was unchanged, no matter the sex of the animal, the time of year it was collected, or where the specimen came from. Turns out the southern flying squirrel isn't the only species of flying squirrel with this neat neon feature. North America has three forest-dwelling species of flying squirrels, the northern flying squirrel, the southern flying squirrel, and Humboldt's flying squirrel. These three species live all over, from Canada down to Central America, and after further investigation, scientists found that all three of these species glowed that hot pink bubblegum color under the UV light. As of right now, scientists aren't sure why or how the squirrels fluoresce pink. In fact, why ultraviolet fluorescence isn't anything new in nature, it hasn't really been studied that much in depth. Some species of opossum, birds, fish, and butterflies display bright markings under ultraviolet light that are easily spotted by other members of their species. There are some theories floating around about the flying squirrels, though. The squirrels are most active during low light times when there's a lot of ultraviolet light, so it may be that they evolve the hot pink color as a communication or mating function, or as a way to confuse owls that hunt them, since the owls also fluoresce pink. In the snowy conditions that all three species encounter, it could also help the squirrels navigate since the ultraviolet light has a high rate of reflectance off of snow. There's also a possibility that the pink may not have a purpose and just might be the color that they are. Either way, there's a lot of future research that will likely happen to answer these questions and determine if flying squirrels in other parts of the world have this fluorescence. So that brings us to our question of the day. The discovery of the fluorescent pink was an awesome thing for Dr. Martin to find in his own backyard. What is your favorite bit of backyard science that you've ever done? Let me know in the comment section down below. Mine was the ISS flyover in case it wasn't obvious. As always, if you want to check out this story a little bit more in depth, I will include links to my sources down below, along with links to all of my social media and my Patreon page. So feel free to check that out in your free time. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of my future STEM related content. If you see any cool current STEM related news stories throughout the week, send me a link on the Stimulus Facebook page or on Twitter at, at the Stimulus using the hashtag Twistum, and they just might make it into an episode. But with that, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time.